Nearly 60 million Americans live in communities run by homeowners associations. HOAs are nonprofit organizations formed to manage common areas in neighborhoods or communities. To many, they are a blessing, but to critics, they are a curse. What are we truly buying into when we purchase a home? What rights do we have? How much control should an HOA have? And where should the line be drawn? HOAs were never conceived with homeowners in mind. You're the tools to make this work. You're expected to pay the money and shut up and not ask questions. And you'll be threatened with fine and possibly foreclosure if you dare ask questions. They frequently will sue you when you are only a couple hundred dollars behind. And then they will tack on two, three, four hundred dollars for demand letters, two, three, four, five thousand dollars if they sue you. No, 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 don't you get up in my face. I don't feel comfortable walking on the other side of the street. The homeowner association has the power to take your house. You have 30 days to get out of your home. No hearing, no due process. There's nothing you can do. You have 30 days to get out of your house. I didn't even realize that a HOA had that much power. What I say goes, see? I'm the law around here. The HOAs have now more power than the very government that oversees them within the communities that they're built. It's not a real corporation and it's not real government. It's sort of right in the middle. The homeowner association lawyers and their property managers have crafted laws so that the associations can oppress individuals within the subdivision. Sign right away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. To get out of buying an HOA property, you have to buy a house that's older than when HOAs became public policy. It was a lot of people making a lot of money, and that's what this is all about. Follow the money. If there's a problem in an HOA, Good luck.